Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to install actions into Photoshop Elements, um, into the Photo Effects panel. So this is um, the zip file that of the actions we're going to be using. Um, once you download your product from the email that you're sent after your purchase, um, it will either save to your My Downloads folder or your desktop or wherever you have it set to save by default. So just navigate to wherever you have it um, set to save, and then you will need to extract the file. And so I'm going to double click and hit Extract All. Oh, that popped up because I've done it before, but yours won't. It'll just pop up with this window. There we go. Okay, so this is um, the extracted file. You're going to double click this, and then inside you'll see three folders. Uh, the one we're going to be working with today is PSE Effects Panel. So just double click that, and you will see um, your actions inside. Now you will see three files for each action. The first one is the action itself, the second one is the XML file, and the third one is the PNG file. You need all of these um, to make it work. So you want to make sure that you copy all of these when you're moving them over. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go to C Drive to install these. And we are going to go to Program Data. Now, if you don't see Program Data in here, it's probably because it's a hidden file and you have to unhide it. Um, I'm on Windows 8, so to do that, I would go to View and then check Hidden Items. If it's not checked, it won't show up. Just check it and it should pop up. Um, if you're on an earlier version of Windows uh, or Mac, you can, I believe, go to Folder Options and then just click on Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives, and that should do the same thing. So just hit Program Data, then go to Adobe, and then we are going to go to, hang on a second, Photoshop Elements, there we go, 10.0, uh, Photo Creations, and Photo Effects. And then here are all of our other actions that we've already got in there. So what you want to do is you want to come back to the folder where um, your new actions are located and you want to select all and we can either do that by right clicking and dragging or um, on Windows 8 we have this option up here just to select all. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to hit copy that way I have them in two separate places. I don't want to drag and drop them uh, just in case something happens and I do it wrong. I want to make sure I have this file to go back to. So once you have them all selected, you want to hit your uh, photo effects panel again, uh, right click and hit paste. And then it'll drop these in. And since it's alphabetical, uh, they might space out, you know, see a, a few. They might not all be together. Um, okay, so after you've dropped them in there, the next thing that you want to do is you want to navigate to C drive again. We're going to go to the same location up here. We're just going to delete or rename a couple files to get it to work. Uh, Photoshop Elements is kind of tricky that way. So we're going to go to Program Data, and then we are going to go to Adobe Photoshop Elements 10.0, and we are going to rename, just in case, because sometimes it's scary to delete. We are going to, oops, that's not what I meant to do. We are going to rename this file, and you can just call it whatever you want to. I'll just type a couple things and hit enter. Um, by renaming it, it will have to reload when you open elements, and that way you can be sure that it's refreshed and it's got your new actions in there. So that's why we do this. Uh, then you're going to go to locale up here, double click that, hit ENUS, and then you are going to also do the same renaming to the media database file. You're going to hit rename and you can just type in something. You can also delete these if you feel comfortable doing that and then just hit enter and they are renamed. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to close these out and we are going to open Photoshop Elements. So just double click it and we're going to hit edit and wait for it to load. This is going to take a while for it to load. Um, since we renamed those two files, it has to completely uh, refresh the database files and make sure that it has everything it needs to open. So it might take a few minutes. Um, I don't really do anything else on the computer until it's done building uh, those files back. So we'll just wait. It might take a few minutes and it's still working.
any day now. Yes, so did I mention it takes a while? It's got a lot to rename, so it takes a minute to load. This is the most frustrating part, I think, about installing actions into Elements. It's just the really long wait. And then I never want to touch my computer because, you know, something could go wrong, and then I'd have to reinstall them all over again. So hopefully it doesn't take too much longer, though. My goodness, the anticipation. <laughs> These actions better be worth it when it finally loads, huh? <sighs> slowly, slowly making its way across. Come on, green. Well, this would be the perfect time to get up and grab yourself a snack or a drink. I'll wait for this to finish. Looks like you have some time. I'll just keep waiting with you. Hoping that green bar will just jump over to the other side. Come on. Hmm. Is it almost done? Well, feel free to skip ahead on this video to whenever it loads. You have my permission. I'm hoping it'll pop up anytime now. <clears throat> 
Anyway, I hope you love your actions, and I hope they're worth this really long wait. Here's hoping. Come on. Okay, still loading. Oh, no more loading. Let's see, is it done? No, it's still working. I hope I didn't mess it up. Okay, hang tight, a little bit longer. Goodness. Oh, they make you work for it, don't they? It's taken forever. Maybe it's my computer. You guys will probably be watching this video and yours is already loaded and you're waiting for me to catch up. <laughs> Come on, computer. Well, at least we know it's not frozen. It's doing something. Get it together, elements. Get it together. Anyway, so I've heard great things about um, Elements 11 <clears throat> and how it doesn't take quite as long to install. So this would be a good enough reason to upgrade right here, don't you think? Goodness. Yeah, this is definitely something you want to do before a lunch break. Let it load, go eat some food, and hopefully it's done by the time you get back. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Come on, little green bar.
Yay! It's almost done. All right. There we go. Okay. So maybe. Oh. Oh. Well, we'll just let it be temperamental for a second. Come on. What in the world? Well, let's just hope that it's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here and we're going to hit show all. And we're going to wait for it to show us all. Or we can scroll down. Let's see if they're in here. Um, oh, yep. Depths was one of them. Earthy. Yay, they're in here. Okay, so if you see them in show all, we've hit the little um, rectangle with the FX. And then we went to show all. And then we will also see if our XML files worked by going to, let's see, where is it at? Going right here and hit MB Beautiful Basics. Those are the ones we just installed. Hit that. And it should bring them up in a minute. Maybe. Come on. Here, let's open a photo just in case that's the problem. And oh goodness. Let's see if we can play one. Oh, it's playing. Okay. <coughs> so it's actually doing something. That's good. We'll delete it. I wish that it would narrow it down for us so I could see the folder up here. on a different oh maybe that's why we have to click on this one over here and then hit the set oh okay so there we go good now they are there and you can see them and you can use them and double click let's see if it works it does yay okay perfect well thank you for sticking around through the painful installation um, I hope you have fun playing with them and enjoying your new products Thank you for watching. Have a great day.